welcome this morning. I want to share with you that I'm doing this cute little bunny coming out of a clay pot. So I do the rim. I come down with a, some kind of shape of pot. It can be a very large pot or a tall pot. Okay. And so that's your first step. And then you want to get the little bunny bum here. All right. This is his back end. And so what's going to be cute is that we're going to do two ovals, which will be his little feet hanging over the pot. Okay. So they're just like Easter egg shapes. Okay. Two of those. All right. And then we're going to put paw prints on it. All right. So then I want you to see, I'm going to do a little fluffy tail. All right. And so what I usually do is we can do a little bit of a head showing and I'm going to have bunny ears. So I have one set coming down like this and then it'll go just like that. No, it needs to go the other way. I want it to fold over this way. Okay. And then this set of bunny ears just goes up. Okay, so I like to show you how I create it because as I'm going along, I might change my mind. So I'm going to do this where it's larger here. And then it flips over. And you would see the bunny ear coming down here. Does that make sense? Just a little bit of a flip. All right, and then from there, we're going to kind of free paint what we want it to look like. All right, so this is important, our first step, because what we're going to do is now put this great plexiglass surface, and I sell these on my website. So please go to onestroke.com and check these out because they're wonderful. Okay, I was a little off here, so... I'm going to make sure that my ears are on. So I'm going to cut off my pot some. Well, that's okay. I'm going to come up in here. And you might notice that I put a little bit of a curve on the pot, which makes it look round. Oops, this is the back. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. All right. There we go. Now, I'm not going to do this today, but the fun thing to do with these beads is to make them different colors that you're painting in your painting. And I just put pieces of tape in between so that I can do one at a time. Um, or you can like pull them out and, and mask this off and spray paint them white or something. You can paint these edges, which I'm not going to do today, but you can. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I'm using multi-surface paints, okay? And I'll share those paints with you. I only have one color, and it's uh, acrylic matte. That is, I use asphaltum sometimes, and I use this matte sometimes because I want that burnt sienna color for the clay pot. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I've got some floating medium. I put some wicker white, magenta, moon yellow sap and lime green and this is hawaiian surf and coffee latte and this is the only one that's different and it's called uh, burnt sienna okay now the first thing i want to do is i want to get some of uh, i've taken this brush i uh, have put it in water and then i come over here and I don't want water in it when I'm over here. But I want you to see I'm going to come across here. And across there just to put a base in. Okay. And then afterwards, we're going to do all kinds of grass. See, I'm getting both colors. And I'm on the chisel of this brush. Now, what I want you to see... Um, is that this plexiglass is wonderful because uh, you don't have to be a surface or anything. 
And if you have a colored wall that you're going to hang it on or a brick wall or something outdoors even, um, it's going to be wonderful because you'll see that through it. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of this on here now. And I just got green on there, so I probably would paint the base a little green. Okay, so now I'm going on the chisel and I go all the way up because I can put some little flowers on here. So this is the edge, along the edge, see how much paint I get? All right, now let's get some more, and then I'm gonna crisscross a little bit down here more. So it looks like layers of grass, all right? So that's pretty easy so far, right? I'm washing out that brush. This is a fun little quick project. So I think you'll like it. All right. So I'm going to get both these colors and I'm going to come across here. And uh, you can put the bunny feet on after right on top of this ledge. But I'm, I'm going to see how it works if I can go around it. Okay. So we're going to come down, come down come across okay so this is the lip the lip of the clay pot I'm gonna I think I'm gonna come across like that and there we go let's pull it down okay now, quickly, I'm going to come here and clean this up. I'm going to come down and across. And right up here, I'm going to go and put a ridge coming this way. Can you see that? That's going to be important. It would come there. And so it's real important that you don't use water. You don't even want to use floating medium on here. Right now, you just want solid paint, okay? So that paint will not beat up when you make it solid paint. All right, I want to steady myself and pull this down or pull it up. But also what I'm doing is I'm not worrying about this being perfect. It's just kind of a whimsical, fun little project. So everything doesn't have to be smooth and exact. Now, see, if I dig into it, it picks up paint. But if I kind of lay across, it covers it well. All right. So then I can get a little bit of white. A little bit of white. Okay, we come here. Okay. All right, so just a little bit of detail on there. All right, so let's wash this. Now it's sliding on me. back up here just a little bit all right so now we're just going to put white so we're going to come all in here i'm going to come around the bunny this ear and we're going to do this ear and i'm going to put the white the flip of the ear there and then i'm going to come back on top and pull that back down And I want this to dry. So now what's going to happen is right here. Oops, how did I get brown? Right here, I'm going to come right in this area for his head. And then we're going to come right in here for his body. Now, 
I need to dry this just a little bit before I put the, the paws in here because I'm going to get brown all over them. Not that it hurts, so let's see what it looks like. There, that's good. Now wipe it off. Come over here and do the other one. Wipe that off so we don't put brown up in here. And let's come up here. There. Wipe it off. Okay, so we'll put some pink on here afterwards. All right. Now I'm going to use my heat pen and I'm going to dry this out so we can get all the detail. This little bunny's fun for kids to do too. I use this heat pen a lot for glass. Okay, so what I want to do, I think, is let me slide some of this underneath so you can see better. There we go. All right, let's just grab looking paper. Okay, so what I want to do is put a nice coat on the ears again. Okay. And then let's do this ear. All right, and this is underneath. Okay, and so we're going to do one more code here. I'm putting a light coat on this. Uh, earlier, I did a heavy coat. And then we'll come right in here and put a nicer coat on the, his little paws. Okay, so now I'm going to take uh, a medium scruffy. Got um, a lot of big scruffies. There we go. It's not the quarter inch. It's a half inch and then we have a three quarter inch. So this one's half inch. All right, so I'm gonna pounce and go right here. And make his bunny, his little fluffy tail. All right, so I want you to be able to see this. So I'm gonna use a little bit of coffee latte <clears throat> and we're gonna go right around so that you see it. So, oops, I'm gonna exaggerate because I don't think you can see it on the screen well. But. Okay. We can also come around here a little bit. And do her head. And we can come around here and do her little body a little bit. feels different when you do it on paper or canvas compared to this plexiglass. So there's a couple of good benefits, though. If you do something you don't like, I can take a clean paintbrush and pick it up with a little bit of water on here. 
let's go around here and around there. All right. Making a little fuzzy. It's a little fuzzy around there. There we go. So I think y'all can see him better now. Okay. Now he's kind of a little fluffy in here. Fluffy. All right, so now I'm going to put that in water, but what I do want to do is come in here a little bit and pick up a little bit of floating medium so I can get a little bit of this tan. And so I'm going to come right around here, right around here, and we're going to go just like this. All right. Okay, so then what's going to happen is we get some white with a little bit of magenta and make it pink. So this is going to be a little bit of pink in here. Come right along there. And right along here. So oh, he's pretty easy, especially if you're pouncing. Okay. So the whole body you could have pounced with a scruffy brush. I was just trying to sh show you a smooth look and a not so smooth look. Okay. So then we're going to go one, oops, a little bit more white. So one, two, three. There's a little pause. Okay. Any kind of cue. And I'm going to put a little bit of grass in here. So I still have, this is an eight flat. You can get some white. And I'm going to come right up in here. And we'll put some grass. It's not Easter grass, but it is grass that's growing in the pot. And it could be like some carrots in this pot. What do you think? All right. So this little bunny, my bunny comes. I have a few little wild bunnies out in my yard. And I live in, I live in a community, but it's cute where... They go to all my blue days and all kinds of little flowers I have and eat them all up. <laughs> I mean, either the really pretty new growth that eats some. My sister sprays an animal spray so they don't do that, but I like seeing the bunnies. Okay, so y'all see that? I've got the lime green. And you can use happy green or citrus green, but I have it coming all in there and I can have a couple of stems. Let me show you. I could have a stem here, one up here. Okay, where I put a few little flowers in there. How's that sound? All right, so I can come in here with a little bit of white. And put a little bit of growth up close. Okay. Now what I want you to see is that if I can come right in front, I'm going to get some floating medium and get both greens and some white. Okay. And I'm going to come right along here. And I'm going to touch and just pull up a little bit. 
a little bit more. All right, so I don't want to cover the whole bottom. I just want to cover some. Okay. Now, last thing is let's add a few little flowers here. So I'm going to take the same brush. I'm going to pick up some white and some yellow. All right. And we will come in here and then let's do some little daisies. This is moon yellow with worker white. Okay. You pick up lots of paint. So let's do a triangle of color. So one, two, so we'll do one more here. All right, we're pulling them towards the center. And then what I'll do is put a bright green Metal. That does not look like a circle. There you go. All right. And then I can even put a couple of them down here. I'm going to take this out so you can see more of what we're accomplishing. I hope you like this. I just think it's kind of fun. Let's go one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Go around now. I do this with a clock. Twelve, three, six, and nine. And then I just come back and add one between each one. Or if you do skinny daisies, you can add more than one. Now, what this does is it keeps giving you layers. The more paint you put, like you've got a green layer in the back, and now a flower lay layer in front. This paint's kind of thick this way. It's not giving me a dip dot. I like a nice dip dot, but I'm having to make a circle with this to try to make it stay down. Okay, so now I want to put some pink in here, but what's really nice is we can pick up some white. All right, and let's... Let's see, I'm going to put a little bit of a purple. I think it needs it. I'm kind of creating this as I go. So let's do a little bit of violet pansy here. Oops. Okay, so I've got white with violet pansy. Okay, so I picked up by the pansy on one edge and white on the other. So I'm going to have the dark, the purple coming down. And I'm just going to go just like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And come across. Okay, so... I'm going to now put a shorter one by it. Now this is pulling the violet pansy first. Now look what happens if I pull the white first. And that just gets it a little darker. Do you see that? All right. So there's gives you... A nice look though. I want to pull some white here. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to put a cute little rose, I think, in there. You can see where I had a little bit darker pink on the tips of those. Let's just do a little bit darker pink here. All right. I have to be careful because that will lift up the paint. So maybe I leave it alone, right? Okay. And
Okay. So when these dries, I can take a little bit of brown around them too, but. I'm just kind of leaving them alone there. So leave them alone, Donna. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to show you that up here, I'm going to get magenta and white, double load those two colors. All right. And I can come right in here and do a little rosebud. I'll teeny rosebud up there. I'll put a few, couple little green leaves. Okay. Now I'm gonna use the little bit larger brush of sixteen flat, and I'm gonna pick up white and magenta. These are all simple little flowers so far. And I'm going to put it right here. And let's put a rose in here. All right, I keep picking up white. So when you're painting wet on wet, you have to have plenty of paint on your brush. Okay, so I can come right on here and picking up fresh white and flattening and each stroke that I make. I gotta have plenty of paint. Okay, so we're gonna come here and then go one, two, three, and we have a little bit of a rose. All right, so I can put a little rosebud here. And we can, well, let's bring a little bit of yellow up here. Oops, I put too much medium. Let me come over here. Let's make it a little peachy. Let's come here and do a couple little, oops, picked up green. Wipe it off. I have to keep wiping off because the paint's wet. You have to do that every once in a while. Or I could dry it with my heat pen and I wouldn't have that problem. Okay, now one more color. We can bring in um, this little the ocean. What is it called? Excuse me. It is Hawaiian surf. It was ocean. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to come right in here and I can put some fun little flowers in here. We push them down. And it could be kind of like a little tulip a little bit. Okay, so I think we got enough little pretties in there. We're going to put some little yellow dots. And a couple of yellow dots up here. And then up there, we're going to get a little smaller brush. And we're six or six or an eight. And we're going to put a little bit of green in here. Six will probably work this nice. Okay.
I loved the little, little greenery of flowers out by the bunny. Okay, so we got one little center to put in here. And we are going to pick up some white with some lime green. Put a little bit of white in here. Maybe just a little bit. And we can pounce along here to give you some brighter green. And I could come down here and pounce. Paint along the wood if you want to. Okay, I hope you like this, this fun little project. But my favorite thing about this surface is how many different things that you can paint on them. And it's an inexpensive surface on my site. So go, go check it out. I think you'll like it. Okay, so one little last. Let's take this out so you don't get messed up seeing the edges. All right. Little things that I want to add. I would take my liner. Okay, but remember, you can do this on paint, but you really can't do it on the plexiglass because then it will bubble up and not look good, okay? All right, and same thing here. I can have little curls. A little bit of the sap green. I'm just playing around. I need to stop, but <laughs> I just want y'all to see that it's kind of fun to just add little flowers. You can put white detail here, or you can put the dark green just to kind of set the flowers. All right, and there we go. You put little butterflies. I was going to put some sky, but I think sky would be too much up there. So I could put a little bit of white and yellow and make a couple little butterflies. Okay, so here they are. It's the one wing, the second wing. And then chisel, chisel for the bottom two wings. All right. I can put all this in here. And they can be dragonflies or butterflies. And then I'm going to have to take the thicker green. Remember, because I can't really use water. And I'm going to push down and lift. Push down and lift. And then put two little antennas. Be sure you sign your piece. There we go. All right. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you learned something. Hope you like what you learn. And I'm worried that this doesn't show up, so I'm just going over it just a little bit. There we go. All right, guys. Have a great holiday. Thank you very much for being on today. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.